Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. That means you. You the people. My motto is that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That you the people recognize what is done in heaven, why it's done in heaven, and emulate it. Have that same type of heavenliness here that they have up there. Now, I indicated, excuse me just a second. I had indicated earlier about some things I wanted to share with you in regards to the plan. <laughs> and I wanted to share with us together so that we can all be on the same page and make it easier to understand. Now, I was telling you about how good God's plan was. Health and education for everyone, all of that careers of choice, and freedom, housing, and all the goodies of life, transportation, public and private, extended vacations, any parts of the world you want to, traveling any way you want to travel, you know, all these good things because those are the things that have come to us, through us, through the inspiration of the spirit of life that put us here. And but I, I have a friend once that told me that you shouldn't spend too much time talking about that which does not work because everybody knows what that is and you know, it's just a waste of time. So spend that time spend it talking about the divine thing. But you know, the things of life are so simple that once you hit it, it becomes something that is not technical that doesn't require all kinds of explanations of this and that. But at the same time, I thought it would be very important that I mention some of the things that you lose by following a different format, that which I mentioned to you. Now, in America, I want to go straight to the bottom. You get freedom, just like anywhere else. But American politics, Republicans and Democrats and all of that, maybe at one time had some significance, but it doesn't today. There was a time when people used to have some real major input in the nation, but now they have very little. They gave it up. They were slick, hoodwinked. You have people who are living in poverty, you have crime and violence, you build prison for it rather than correct the problem. You have people who drop out of school, prostitution, gambling, marijuana, alcoholism, robbery, all the crime. Signs of a system that has failed. Nobody wants to fix the system, they open up a casino. Uh, nobody wants to fix the system, and so everything continues as it has. Then you find people who get upset at it and don't know how to deal with the problem, so they start flexing muscles and you have violence, major violence, terrorism, and you have war. All of these things, and it can get to a point, I've heard it discussed, that if the people would rise up at a time such as this, when the nation is really controlled by a few people, they might all be herded off to little concentration camp type things like the ones that they're using to keep the immigrants in who are, are here illegally. So, you know, all of these things are possibilities. But you have a chance to make things right. You have a chance to have in the thing where you can't, you can only get a few years of free education. And anything else is going to cost some money. In the thing where you have this co-payment on health care, you can't really study the research to find cures to diseases because you don't have enough money. You can't even continue to live in your house because you don't have enough money. You can't ride in cars, your car falling apart because you don't have enough money. You know, these things just don't make too much sense, but that's the kind of system we live under. Now, whether you like it or not, George Bush was a president. He was a good man, but he expressed a philosophy of thought that was just as real as yours or mine, just as legit as yours or mine, and only our blindness did not allow us to see. Those who did see, <coughs> and those who didn't see, well, those who didn't see, our blindness. 
those who did see our weakness made us a victim of it, uh, allowed us to be victim of it. I come to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, that it doesn't matter whether you go in it Republican again. It doesn't matter what face you put up there. The basic principles of the Republican Party are going to be followed, as you can see being expressed in Congress today. Uh, these guys are sticking to their guns and nobody's accomplishing anything, but we the people at large are messed up. And we're messed up basically because amongst us, we are messed up. And we only care about ourselves and we get that fixed and we are all right. But see, the truth of the matter is that God don't like that. God does not like that at all. Now, if there's any God in you, you better start acting like it. Going to church every Sunday doesn't make you godly. And participating in church activities doesn't make you godly. Stop drinking and stop smoking and stop chasing the opposite sex doesn't make you godly. I know sometimes you have a, such a relationship with God. <clears throat> so if you start talking about how wonderful God has been to you, you might just fuss out in tears because God has been so good to you. But the question that is on our minds is this. And should be on yours. What have you done for God lately? What have you done for God lately? And those of you who have had your lives saved, who should have been dead, but God saved you and kept you here in this body form, why do you think he did that? There have been other people in your same situation who perished, but you were saved. Why do you think he did that? He did that for your bodily service. To his call and his will. That's why it was done. You are living to be agents of God. And God is love. God is not that indoctrination you got as a Republican or a Democrat or as a racist or as a gangbanger. No, no, God is not that. God is love. God is love. What is love? Love is understanding what you want and what you like. So does every man, woman, and child. Respect that. Respect that. Love is respected. <laughs> no doubt about it. Now, I want you to know that if you want to change these things, it's not going to just happen. And putting somebody else in, putting anybody in that's running for office right now is not going to do anything. It's just a, it's a, it's a circus. It's just nothing but a circus. You are being played. You are being played like trained monkeys. They're going to put somebody in office. doesn't matter whether he's black or white, Republican or Democrat or otherwise. And they're going to do exactly what they've been told to do, just like every other president, because they know if they don't, they die. And men who are not led by the Spirit of God don't want to die. They don't want to die. They don't want to die. For what? For somebody else who take, the, who take that position and give up their lives just like that? And you sit there and just be in a position like all the other presidents except those that were killed? No, no, no. You got to be ready because to walk in that office representing God, you know that things are going to change because that's the way God would have it. And here's something else you know. You know that if no one supports you, if God doesn't support you, there will be evidence of your faith because you're going on. You're going forward. You're going to do the right thing. You see, that's what being real is like. Real doesn't get to the end of the rainbow and look and find out that there is no love and start cussing and fighting. It gets there and rejoice. What a wonderful ride, riding the rainbow. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that if you want me to be your president, write me in as the next president. My name is Eddie Marcus. Write me in. Go to those polls. I will not be on the ballot. Write my name in. Now, chances are, it won't be enough of us to win. But what we will do is that we will tell the world that we, this number, this great number, small number, whatever number it is, that there's nobody but me. It's God standing for God. Nobody else want to join in, then that's okay. God is still God, and I stand with God. But wouldn't it be nice if millions of you stood with God? These people who've been denying God, defying God, taking prayer out of school, doing all this old crazy stuff just because they want to be free to do whatever they want to do, to kill people who walk in your yard because you don't know them. 
or they come on your porch and they ain't got it in the lever. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, those kinds of things become law. And what I have been talking to you for the past 33 years, I haven't even got anybody to listen. But you're going to listen now because you are feeling the pain. And I know what I'm telling you resonates. I know you love it. But will you go for it? Till next time, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate for basic human rights for all people. Say bye-bye.